Hello and welcome to 3 Dot OTV. In today's special episode, we are going to talk about the developments related to the most important event in the blockchain universe. Yes, we are talking about Vitalik Buterin's brainchild Ethereum and its anticipated upgrade, the merge. Today, I will be talking about the future of Ethereum miners and what they are working on to keep retain their earning potential. The long-awaited consensus update known as the merge which will transform the Ethereum blockchain from mining-based proof-of-work to mining-free proof-of-stake is scheduled to take place on September 15, officially ending the Ethereum mining era. However, in the ongoing development of Ethereum's move to POS, a proof-of-work splinter group from the Ethereum blockchain has finally announced plans to launch its hard fork soon after the Ethereum merge on September 15. The debate over this miner-led split began in July when influential Chinese miner Chandler Guo suggested a hard fork of the primary Ethereum chain. He believed that rather than forcing miners to switch chains after Ethereum's transition, the fork would let them continue their operations. Several exchanges have expressed interest in or have already listed the forked uh, ETHW, including Poloniex, Bitfinex and Coinbase. ETHW was seen trading at $30.88, down by 2.9%. The ETC Group, a provider of institutional-grade digital asset-backed securities, has formally announced the establishment of a new Ethereum exchange-traded product on September 7. Meanwhile, the Chandler Guo led group will announce the exact time for the hard fork only an hour before launch with a countdown timer and everything included final code, binaries, configuration files, nodes, info, remote call, procedure server, explorer, etc. will be made public when the time's up. For testing the fork code, the team has also built a testnet named Iceberg. To ensure that the chain ID, a distinctive identifier to distinguish among blockchains, switches effectively that the chain is the longest chain of ETHW, the mainnet will begin 2048 empty blocks after the merge block. Additionally, this offset will stop duplicate blocks on ETH and ETHW. As a result, the first block on ETHW that might include any transactions will be the merge block plus 2049. Well, that's it in today's special bulletin. We will keep updating you about the various aspects of the merge through a special bulletin. Till then, keep watching Free Auto TV. This is me, Vishakha, signing off.